Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello. How you doing? Welcome. You just slipped into the most fabulous place on YouTube and I'm so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, before you get relaxed, you get all comfortable, I know it's cold where you at because you see I have all my fur. I'm like trying to like, ugh, you know. There's a couple of things you need to do before you can come get comfy cozy with us. You need to subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And when you add it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows the little old me. I need a little shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of this winnings. Hey, all of this winnings in this YouTube streets, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back and clicking on my thumbnail. Like you guys keep coming back. I truly appreciate you, you, and you. Thank you. Now, today's video is all about my fragrance event. But I want to talk about the fragrances that I am torn that I want to wear to the event. I'm like, I want this, I want to wear this, I want to wear this. So let's talk about the event, let's talk about the fragrances, and let's just dive into it. So if you want to know more about my event, the fragrances that I want to be wearing, I want you guys to help me decide the fragrance to wear. Go grab yourself hot cocoa, coffee, tea, lemon and ginger tea, and come right back while I get my fabulous, fabulous cup. And um, let's get into some things. That night I said I was recording late I wasn't recording late I was just smoking, chilling, at a couple of drinks Now before we get into the meat and potatoes You know, high heels on my tippies Fenty cream gloss that's on my lippy This is in the shade Cookie Jar And um, yeah, who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? A lolly stole the cookie from the cookie jar Who, me? <laughs> so let's get into the event so my event is right around the corner is november 16th at amir oud so amir oud is um a fragrance house they have an they have a store a location like a physical location and they also have you know an online store so they have like two separate well they're together but like two divisions so they have armer oud which makes original fragrances the brand and then they have armer scent bar now the scent bar is like um they made it like a bar and the fragrances they put it like you are at the bar and you're trying to you know get a drink and you get to layer your favorite fragrances it's an inspired version on the scent bar and you get to you can buy a full bottle of expired fragrances or you can mix and create your own signature scent so i love that because you get to create and mix and match and you can also mix and match with their original scent and inspired scents of your favorite scent so on that day that's what we get to do we can maybe create a fragrance we get to shop sniff and just have a good time so i have my outfit already i'm not gonna show you guys until i wear it i'm not gonna show you my outfit can I give you guys a color? Child, I need to wear both of them because I need to make sure that it fits. Because now that I've gained some weight, that outfit better fit. But yeah, I have my outfit. I just need my fragrance, okay? Now, like I said, November 16th is in Dallas. Richardson, to be precise. And um, I think it starts from 4. So 4 p.m. on the dot, no African time. Don't be late. Do not be late. The event is here, it's coming, and let's get to it. So while thinking about the fragrances that I wanted to wear, I'm not going to talk about the notes or deep dive too much. I'm just going to share with you guys some of the fragrances that are in the running. Because I think that this is my first event, so it's very, very monumental for me. So I want to wear something that is iconic. <laughs> so I have some fragrances. Some of them are sentimental and some of them just smell damn good. I ordered um, Istanbul by Unique Luxury. It's like a love, don't be shy, but on steroids. Like love, don't be shy. Ex like not the extreme is to me is like better than the extreme. It's giving love, don't be shy intense. It has a toffee note to it. So when I put that on, like maybe I should wear that, but it's not here yet. So that one is somewhere. It's in the running. Okay. So, but the ones I have in front of me that are in the running, we're just gonna hit them and I'll 
we'll talk about them and we'll use this as a layering combo video part two layering combo part two because everything here <laughs> is a combo there's nothing that stand alone except maybe one so this is also layering fragrance combo so the first one that i thought about was um this is muse and overture by zerzhov the reason why i thought about this i used to layer them before in the past this used to be my ultimate combo like if you started watching me when i had like 50 100 200 subscribers this was my combo overture and muse i would layer both of them and i think that this started my channel so for me it's sentimental seeing that from where i started i'm still growing but now i have my own um fragrance event and i feel like whenever i think of my channel when i started this used to be like my um dp and thumbnail I used to be like this like so that's why i have this and i think that i'm always going to have these two fragrances in my collection for life because um i feel like it started my channel when i got both of them it felt like i just they were my favorite fragrances so even creating a fall combo and i'm putting them i don't know why i did that <laughs> i use this in the fall i use it in winter i use it in spring that's how good these fragrances are like both of them i love them so that's like number one in the running it started my channel and i have like um attachment to it <laughs> i have attachment issues now the second one that i have is my current uh, is it my current favorite combo my top two current favorite combo this is queen of silk you know i think that this is luxurious layered with leonora by mind games both of them together is just everything and I think I talked about this combo in that video. So these two are in the running to one together. Usually put um, Queen of Silk first, go in with Leonora, and come back again with Queen of Silk. So I really like it. It's luxurious. And my outfit is very flowy, like a Dubai queen, rich auntie vibes. And I think that this also goes with the outfit in a very luxurious, flowy way. Child, you need to see the outfit. But fun fact there's no stone on it I, that was one thing i forgot when i was making it i forgot to tell them to add some stones i wish i did because i love stones i feel like i can do it but i don't want to mess it up and then i have no outfit but um this goes with the outfit very well it's just that there's no stones no stones why did i do that now the next combo that I want to wear that I've been thinking about is um Crystal Saffron Extract Layer de Baccarat Rouge. This is beast mode. It's powerful. It will make me smell like I'm rich. You need to smell me. It's my event. <laughs> like, it's me. I'm the one. The two and the three. So, I have this on my list. Since this came, I've been wearing this two together. And it just smells very expensive, luxurious. And um, it's like one of my top favorite combos right now both of them so crystal saffron extract and baccarat rouge 540 are in the running well the next one i thought about was since i'm having an event at amir oud and um the fragrance that i mixed is going to be available that day for purchase why don't i wear it that's a good one to wear the fragrance that i'm going to have that day in store that i called habibi to go with the habibi you know team habibi night this is my mix that I told you has vanilla planet folio, my soft life queen. So with this one, it's very soft, it's very mindful, it's very demure. But then this is going to be available for purchase that day. So why can't I just wear it and it be my fragrance of the day? So people can smell it on me. And if they want it, it's available for purchase. So I think that this makes sense. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> but um, this one, I have been using it. Look at my dent. I need to get a refill and they do refills which is good so I think it's cheaper when you do a refill because then you're not getting a bottle and a lid and um, so I'm thinking I should do that I'm like putting this all over me so this is the only one that I feel like I don't need to like layer it it already has the vanilla planifolia in here so I don't need to wear vanilla planifolia dupe how however after I created this, I did a different variation of it. I added something else in this one. So this one is like this, but slightly woodier and spicier a bit. So I've been thinking, should I layer both? Ah. 
this just smells like it with a little bit more wood like the woody element hmm. so i don't know if i should lay a boat or just worry about so this one is very soft it's very mindful but when i add this because this i ended up adding a stronger fragrance to give it woodiness for some reason this just has more depth than this i think that this is very simple you know how vanilla planifolia is it's just a vanilla it's like like this this gives you that mm, that is needed so another thing is i've been torn between this and this being the official fragrance <laughs> they are bb sometimes i love this but look at my dent but i had this one first and sometimes i have this and look at my dent so the difference is just one 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 added stuff and i just cannot make up my mind and um this is one of those cases where i wish i had a few people around to kind of smell it and see what they like and get their vote because i'm confused as well and i can't have my husband smelling because he's gonna want more oud and more oud now since the the since the event is at amir oud another thing that i thought about was wearing an amir oud fragrance i think it'll be good this one is one of my favorite from them. It's called Femler. Femler is, is a floral, but then there's bergamot in here. This is really good, but it's very sharp. It's very pungent as well, but I love this. I remember when I went in store and I sprayed it, I had this on me with Arabian's Rose. And I came home that day and my husband was like, what did you spray? Well, I sprayed like maybe 10 things already, but these were like the two prominent ones that I sprayed. Arabian Rose, which is Rose and Oud, and Femler, which is like a very, very floral with a hint of, like I said, freshness. This one is Rose Oud, but more rose than Oud. So Femler, Arabian Rose, I can wear them together and wear Amer Oud that day. So I'm still like, you know, in the Amer Oud vibe. The next one is one of my favorite combos that I was, I was wearing in the summertime, but this I can still wear right now because um, Brera is like a chili, chili rose and oud, chili pepper, rose oud fragrance. Massive compliment getter. All the times I've worn Brera, I have gotten, let me put it over here. All the times ooh, I've worn Brera, I've gotten compliments. It reminds me a little bit of the Arab Arabian rose by, um, by Amir Oud. It reminds me of it but i used to layer it with tilia by marc antoine barua ah oh, tilia i love tilia what a quentin bitch put in here it's such a soft life queen i used to layer both of them and when i tell you compliments so i'm like should i bring this combo out again i feel like compared to a lot of the fragrances i talked about this one may be at the bottom because it doesn't hold a lot of sentimental value but it holds a lot of complimental value i get compliments and when i wear it with my outfit flowing it's just gonna be compliments 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 now the last one that i have been thinking about i was gonna wear this by itself this is starlight it's a cardamom bomb i have not worn it outside i haven't just indoors to test out and when i spoke with melanie today she said when are you gonna wear your starlight <laughs> so i'm like you know what maybe i should consider wearing it for the event because it's a cardamom bomb like a bomb bomb is bomb and the cardamom is bomb <laughs> it layers so beautifully with nui de sa by bdk <sighs> so good Another thing Nuit de Sable goes well with is Tuberose Imperial from BDK. I wish I can get that in a small size because you guys know I don't like Tuberose, so that's why I don't have a full size of it. I just need it in like a, I know I don't like 30 ml, but I will be okay with 30 ml of that. But um, this two together, I think will smell amazing. Cardamom, cardamom, and it's like I'm in a cardamom cloud. And I can see it smelling like a rich lady. So... I thought about using my Ombre Nomad and Intense Cafe, but I'm like, no, I use that a lot when I go out. So let me, you know, spice it up a bit. So these are the fragrances that I have in the running. What do you guys think? What, what are you, what do you think I should wear? <laughs> and these are amazing combos that you need to check out. So the, if you haven't tried, um, Star, if you own Starlight and Nuit de Sable, wear them together. If you own Tilia and Brera, wear them together. Queen of Silk and um, Leonara, beautiful together. 
Muse and um, Overture, sickening. Crystal Saffron and Baccarat Rouge. <sighs> Beast Mode Central. Or Amer Oud fragrance. Or my um or my combo. And um, which one do you guys vote for? Do you want the one that is soft, beautiful, and um both of them have um, vanilla planifolia in them, but they're very fruity with very, very, very soft, very, 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 very soft touch of um, oud, but very fruity and vanilla, or fruity with vanilla with a hint of woodiness. Let me know, because I need to decide. So let me know <laughs> in the comments below if I should keep it very simple and mindful and not deep and complicated. Melanie smelled this one and she said it's incredible and she loves it. I'm like, really? But she has not smelled the other one. Nobody has smelled this one. So I'm like, should I use the one that people have smelled and love? But then this one with the extra uh, to it, it smells really good. It's sexy and deeper. So I don't know. Or maybe one is Habibi and the other one is Habibi Night. And I don't know if they're gonna wanna do that, but people, I, I would need to talk to them. Maybe one can be Habibi and one is Habibi Night. And you can either get regular Habibi or Habibi Night that day. But the, but this fragrance, at least one of them will be available that day for purchase when you come in through the door. Or you can go to the bar and mix your own fragrance and create your own signature scent. But yes, y'all, these are the fragrances that are in the running. And combos for you to check out. Like I said, my fragrance event is coming. It's November 16th at Amer Oud. We'll be Dubai Queen, Dubai Princess together. And um, yes, I can't wait to see you guys. If you're coming, if you're not, you'll be there in spirit. I've been thinking if I should vlog. Uh, I suck. I have not. I've tried. I've tried to vlog before and I ended up deleted all the footage because I suck at it. And uh, But I don't know. Maybe this time... I will try, but I cannot promise. But I know I need some footage to share with you guys, but I don't know if it will be like in a vlog format. Let me know what you think I should wear to the event in the comments below. And if not, if you remember anything from my collection that you'll be like, oh, what about this one? Why don't you wear that one? Still let me know in the comments below. Like I always say, in all things, what are we doing? We're gonna add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, what are we gonna do? We're gonna add glitter. And when all else fails, and your back is against the ropes, your back is against the wall, um, we're gonna do Habibi, Habibi. I'm gonna put Habibi here. There's something about it that makes it okay, okay. And then we're gonna put, and then we're gonna put Habibi Night, the woody version over here. yeah oh 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 i mean <laughs> and then we're gonna add more glitter thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video of course you're gonna see me in another video if not how are you gonna know how the event went don't you want progress reports i need to tell you how it went <laughs>